Bongo District in Upper East Region is home to 103,000 people. In 2015, more than 8 out of 10 were practicing open defecation. The District Assembly worked with Water Aid Ghana and other partners to change this. By 2020, the district was showing strong progress. The sanitation situation in the 2014 was very bad. The, the whole environment was littered with human feces. You invite community members to a meeting in the community and sensitize them through the triggering process uh, to have a, what we call walk of shame, where you identify commonly where the community goes to defecate. When they see how the mess they cause in the, in, the, in the process of your walking, you come to the point and they all look at it and say that it's not the proper place as they have done that. You take the water and go and drink. What are you doing? That you are taking your own physics that you have defecated there. So that's where the thinking starts. Then they will say, okay, we will now try to see how we do all dig our pits. Five years ago, Water Aid Ghana and Bongo District Assembly launched WASH for Public Health. Asaloko was one of the communities which began to adopt new practices. It has brought changes, a lot of changes to the community. Before 2016, this community were open defecating, were defecating everywhere. So when it wasn't easy, during rainy season, you come to the community and the whole place was smelling. That, that was where we used to go and defecate. So it will happen that you go and be there, you be squat, you squat here, somebody's there, somebody's there, and you don't feel comfortable. And the pigs around, they will be there crying. I used to get up faster so that they will come and eat the feces. Meanwhile, it's the same pig, the, same pig, the meat, the pork. We, Chop it, and people thought uh, maybe defecating openly. They were adding maybe manure or something like that to their land, ignorantly. But through our education to them, they realized that eating our own feces rather causes more harm. So when we are when we educate the people to own their own latrines, and then 2019 July we were oh, the listen we were declared as ODF. The community were happy. You can see around. There are no rubbish. We don't litter around. We don't defecate openly. When water aid came, they come here to train us. So through that, every house was asked to build a toilet, and it was done. We picked some leaders in which they go around to pick all the rubbish, and then enter the toilets and see whether it's clean. And to be able to do that, we charge you when we come to meet your toilet being dirty or your surrounding with rubbish or unclean, you pay. And then even if we catch you defecating outside, not in the toilet, you pay. So it's because of that, community became clean. The children also learn how to use the toilet at school because before then, they will come to school all right, but they will not use the school toilet. They used to run to the booth to free themselves. And when they come back, they don't even wash their hands. And they just go back to classroom and then start with their lesson. But after the project, the children were now able to learn that when they go to the toilet and they come back, they have to wash their hands. And then it has improved their health condition. Because of our sanitation practice, we are, the school was awarded and given soap during a deba. So we have enough soap which will provide, when they go to the toilet and they return, they have to use the soap to wash their hands, very clean, and now get to class. And we do regular cleanup for the toilet and the urina, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. We have enough soap. We have Parazone, and we have Detor, which we use to wash the toilet and the urina. We have had time, a number of times, to organize, to call for PTA meeting, where the children dramatize for the parents to see. They, they also educate the parents on the need to wash their hands. And they also go back home and construct what we call tippy taps in their various homes. This tippy tap helps us a lot. It is what we use as a hand washing facility after we have gone for toilet, maybe Children went out and play and they are coming, they need to wash their hands and then it helped reduce maybe infection. For water aid, 
helping communities to become open defecation free means helping people to change long-standing sanitation practices. We are looking at awareness, capacity enhancement of community members and also helping them to really understand the need to really keep the environment clean. One focal point has been to create safe and convenient public toilets at health centers. Last year we were fortunate we had a toilet facility constructed for the entire community, which does also help in uh, easing of our patients, uh, good impacts to the community and that of the staffs as well. We have volunteers that used to clean this structure. We educated them on how to maintain the place clean, because cleanliness is next to godliness. And we health workers, we have to ensure that the structure is clean enough to reduce infection. So we, we also educated the community on how to use the toilet facility anytime they visit there. We have tea rolls there, we have, we have liquid soaps whereby after use they can wash their hands and return safely. As well as schools and health centers, Bongo District is prioritizing public spaces. Soy Market has been under construction and a new toilet block has been included. Market store holder Cynthia Azuri will collect a small fee from users and ensure that the new toilets are kept clean. Bongo District Coordinating Director Daniel Kanyagi says that developing well-maintained toilets in public spaces is a priority for the future. You need to have a toilet in every market or any public space so that people can uh, free themselves easily. Otherwise, what is going to happen is that they will free themselves in, in any case. And where would they do that? So we'll end up polluting our markets and polluting our communities. For Bongo District Assembly and for its partners, sustaining the gains they have made is crucial. How are we going to sustain the intervention? We have developed a case stories on that and ensuring that we share within and outside the country for others to also buy into that idea. We are hoping that when you go there in a year or two, they will not go back to their old way of doing things so that together we can really help the, the country to achieve our SDG by 2030. This is of over, over 90 communities. Within the period, we are able to support only 90 to achieve ODM. We still have a long way to go. Bongo District Assembly works with a range of partners. These also include UNICEF and the Community Water and Sanitation Agency. The district successfully lobbied for government support and resources and has doubled its own budget for WASH. It is all a question of teamwork. Thomas Ugoriba, District Development Planning Officer, is very confident that by the time these young people are fully adult, the Bongo sanitation gap will have been closed. 38% of the households have access to uh, good sanitation. We are very, very optimistic about achieving SDG 6 in the sense that uh, we are working tirelessly to ensure that every household has uh, access to sanitation facilities.